this is a piece of work that's up in uh, Colombia and developed out of um, workshops that I ran in a place called Moravia in Medellin. This is a, an area that, um, a kind of unofficial part of the city that developed um, on top of the city's rubbish dump. So it's houses that were built on the chemical um, waste and the rubbish dump of uh, Medellin. It's an area that's sort of been, it's starting to be pulled down. And I was commissioned to make a work that covered over part of the remaining walls of some of the, the buildings, which I did out of, um, you can see kind of recycled bottles I created. A city almost in the kind of mode of the vernacular architecture of um, Moravia, because Moravia's economy um, is completely based around recycling. And, okay, um, this is a two year project that's just finished where I made work around the Grand Tour in uh, France, um, the UK, and Italy. This is Paris Remains, it's a version of Paris um, destroyed. I started thinking about why Paris. Um, because of the Vichy regime still uh, stands and London instead was bombed and ruined. And what I did was I made a version of Paris out of the food stuff that I collected and dried and carved from the pavements of Paris. So you can see here. This is another work, Atlantis, as well, which is in it. Um, I'll finish off talking about the Obsidian Isle, which is a work uh, that's currently in progress. This developed out of residency at a place called Ricefield in Glasgow. And I started becoming interested in the myth of Ossian. Ossian was a third century, um, supposed a third century blind poet who was heralded as a kind of Homer of Scottish poetry. Um, he was discovered by James McFerth McPherson in the 19th century. Um, but there was a huge kind of kerfuffle around this because it turned out he was almost a kind of fictional creation. Ossian inspired many ideas of uh, what the Scottish landscape, particularly the Highland landscape, could be. And this is Ron Simmons, um engraving of it. I became interested in the experience of the kind of romantic landscape in a place called Dunkeld. This is a place in Scotland that was built almost as a shrine to um, the fictive Ossian. This is um, Ossian's kind of grotto or cave. This is um, Ossian's Hole. It's a place where the landscape on nature is almost kind of domesticated, made safe, but almost made more wondrous at the same time. You enter into this and you initially go into a dark space, which then opens up. And what you originally had, it was actually blown up, so it doesn't exist anymore. But you then went into a room, you can see on the left, it's a room that was completely wall to ceiling mirror and you went from this very quiet, enclosed, darkened space, almost like having a blindfold on you, into, as you open the next door, into the sound of the waterfall, the kind of huge um, sort of overwhelming of your senses. And um, I've been creating this work, The Obsidian Isle, from this research, which is based on, these are some clawed glasses, and I've been creating um, uh, sensory aids instead of kind of the, the conventional cameras for people to use when they uh, go to a tourist resort. I've created an island where Scotland can uh, collectively forget or remember its past. So these are potential, um, this, this is what people have made. I, this was from a uh, sort of exhibition I had at the project room in Glasgow as well. Um, so this is one of the images from it's going to be large format works as well as um, sort of sensory, sensory abstracted works as well. But it's an island that houses all of Scotland's lost or destroyed um, buildings that people can go to. And it's situated just off um, Staffa on the west coast of Scotland. <laughs>